let's go. In the animal kingdom, human beings are the only mammals able to walk long distances on two feet for a very long distance. Walking is in our DNA. For ages, we have been walking for food gathering, migrations, but look what happened. <laughs> our Western lifestyle has considerably reduced the amount of walking we do because of our need for speed, our addiction to screens, we do much more sitting. Are we losing our true relationship to nature? I grew up in France, close to this small forest, where I would often take breaks from schoolwork. Then I discovered mountains. And while dreaming of being a mountain guide and hiking all over the planet, I ended up working inside in health and fitness for 30 years. But this work took me to this country, and especially to the Rocky Mountains. I lived in Aspen, Colorado for 25 years. Of course, I hiked a lot, and I especially enjoyed being above tree line, like here in the Maroon Bells area, contemplating. But the dream in the back of my mind wasn't gone. I wanted to see the tallest mountain on Earth, the Himalayas. In 2002, after a small accident took my hiking, my summer hiking away, I decided, this is it, I'm going. And I took my first trip in the fall that year to Nepal. I returned year after year to different parts of Nepal, to Bhutan, Tibet, India, not just for the vistas, but also for discovering different cultures, like here in Bhutan, where nature conservation is one of the four pillars for happiness. I started to organize trips, really enjoying helping people realize their own dreams and uh, guiding them through places I loved and knew, and also making friendly connection with locals, even if we didn't always speak the same language. One day in Dharamsala, India, a Tibetan monk asked me, why do Westerners always want to walk? He referred to the trekking activity, but also to the difficulty we may have to sit still for a long time like uh, no monks and nuns do while meditating. Of course, in remote areas like here in Nepal, people walk to do their work and kids often go long distances to attend schools. But I responded to my friend that Tibetans also walk for religious purposes around sacred buildings, sacred mountains, like here on a pilgrimage around Mount Kailash in Tibet. So through so my travel and hiking, I started to feel that uh, walking was, was a great opportunity to start reconnect, transform my relationship to nature and maybe to ourselves. According to Eastern and Western science, our body and what we call the environment are made of the same elements, earth, water, fire, air. We are a small ecosystem, part of a larger one, and they are constantly communicating. And nature is so much bigger than us. It inspires us. And you know that the feeling of O oh, transform our genes, boost our immune system, enhance our health. And wonder can be all around us every day, especially these days, actually. This is just in my neighborhood a few weeks ago. So, Nature loves us. Nature feeds us, heals us. What can we do? Maybe it can start within us, caring for our, what we call our true home, part of nature, our human body. And my little friend Ella would agree, the body is amazing. Take the foot, 26 bones, 33 joints, over 100 muscles and ligaments. We can go a long way and often we can do much more than we think. In 2019, I returned to a French Compostelle trail linking to the famous Camino. These pilgrimage routes uh, have been walked by for centuries, and they really link our humanity in space and time. 
From changing landscapes to old villages, there is no shortage of beauty. And somehow, the slowness and simplicity of walking, the rhythm and repetition of our step day after day going forward, take us in words, like a meditation. My Tibetan friend would like it. Last year, I took a small group back on this trail for about two weeks. And after a few days, body and mind start to relax. And at the end, nobody wanted to quit, enjoying the experience, but also the camaraderie between walkers, regardless of social status or nationality. The world is beautiful, and nature is not just an antidote for a poor lifestyle. I believe that walking is a great way to reconnect to our true nature of human being. <laughs> I walk because I can, but when it's really not possible, we must find solutions so everybody can enjoy nature, like my friend Lisanne. Walking taught me Patience, acceptance, humility, resilience, compassion. Our path and destiny are interconnected with nature. I wish you to find your own path. Dream big for yourself and for the planet. And remember Lao Tzu words, a journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. Thank you. <laughs>